Hi everyone, welcome to Ripples. Oh, sorry, I'm muted. Okay, hi everyone, welcome to Ripples. Thanks for coming. So, um, you know, it's it's Mother's Day and I have tremendously mixed feelings about Mother's Day. I always say to my family, forget about Mother's Day, every, every I do. <laughs> um, and so this morning um, I picked up my phone and there were all these lovely, you know, Mother's Day messages, you know, with the gift, with the flowers and and all that. And all that's, that's all very nice. And then I thought, well, maybe, maybe I should be like joining in the fray and sending these, you know, nice little gifts of flowers that turn into hearts, Happy Mother's Day and everything. And I had this very interesting experience. I scrolled through my phone like from top from the last text down in two apps both in the in the um the iphone message app and also in signal and then in uh, i looked in whatsapp too and i'm not kidding i went through like the first 25 messages from women in both apps not one of them was a mother and i thought well this is very interesting this is very interesting and um, it, it really, in a way, cemented my very mixed feelings about Mother's Day. And I, I really think it should be Creativity Day. Because as I was scrolling through, through these, um, these, these women, like one after the other, the very creative people, very thoughtful people, people who've, who've had miscarriages, people who've decided not to have children, people who, who are, are gay and have no intention of having children, people who um, just, it didn't occur to them and, and now regret it. And like all these various shades of, of people and their relationships to motherhood. And, and I think, that if that's not acknowledged on Mother's Day, this is a very big problem. And so I, I'm, I would like to make a, a ripple for Reproductive Creativity Day because this the chi that makes children... Did I put you to sleep, Theo? <laughs> oh, wait, 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 my sound is off. Say it again, Theo, sorry. I'm taking points tomorrow and I didn't sleep very well. Oh, so. good luck in your exam. Thank good you. Luck in your exam. Anyway, the, the, the chi that, that we use for reproduction is, the, is exactly the same chi, exactly the same chi that we get inspiration from and that we use for creativity. It's the same chi. And so I thought for the ripple, we could go to the the cloud, the pointless cloud of creativity in Chiang Mai, that, that's this, this region down, down here, and, and celebrate the, the deep creative nature of, of all women today. I know it exists in men too, but um, I just wanted to change the vibe of the... Um, the commercial nature of Mother's Day and and do a little flip or major major flip into um, the treasuring of the creative nature. So thanks Pamela. Good. Great, thank you. Okay, that's going down well. And to the only man who's here, Brian, thanks so much for being here. Alright, let's get to our creative ripple appreciation for the deep inherent creativity of women today can we get points <laughs> oh all right okay so the first point will be a region so that will be the cloud the the amorphous cloud the the sea of jing from which chong mai ren mai and du mai emerge and the second point will be Kidney 21, which is the end of the first trajectory, called the mysterious gate. Because the nature of the, 
the origin of creativity is by, by nature mysterious. It's supposed to be mysterious. We're not supposed to be able to see in it. We're always surprised by what comes out of it, by the ideas, the writings, the, the, um, the artwork, the conversation, the, the faces of the children. All these things are great mysteries. Do you, how's that, Theo? Okay. Thanks, everyone, for being here. Let's get to work.
so much for being here. Much love to you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.